This baby dolphin had no siblings to play with and wished to have a younger brother. His desire comes true really soon, and his mother adopts another child. But it's not a dolphin, but a human. In the middle of the deep blue sea, there lives a sweet little dolphin named Snowball. He loves playing around and tries to befriend every fish he finds. His mother Nana always warned him not to wander alone, but Snowball is a curious dolphin who doesn't care about rules. One day, while following a fish, Snowball reaches the deepest part of the sea, which is forbidden for everyone. He soon regrets his actions and tries to get back, but a creepy octopus gets in the way. Snowball begs to let him go, but the octopus wraps the poor dolphin in his tentacles. Luckily, Nana reaches there in time and rescues his son. Snowball feels out of breath and rushes to the surface to get some air. He suddenly notices a huge airplane that crashes right in the sea. As usual, Snowball gets curious and explores the airplane. He finds a human baby who miraculously survived the incident. Snowball finds the boy really cute and wants to keep him, but Nana doubts if it's right or not. She gathers her friends and waits for their eldest member, the turtle. Other sea creatures don't like the boy at first, but after seeing his gullible side, they all fall in love with him. The turtle also declares that the boy is harmless, but he needs proper care. Snowball is more than happy and always keeps the boy with him, but the boy is naive as compared to the other fish, so Nana has to pay extra attention to him. The boy grows up soon and believes that he is also a dolphin. He assumes Nana as his mother and always shows affection to her. Nana is also fond of him, but this makes Snowball a little jealous. One day, the boy asks Snowball why he is so different from other dolphins. Snowball unintentionally reveals that he is not a dolphin, and they found him in the sea. Snowball regrets what he said and tries changing the topic, but the boy wants to know everything about his origin. Snowball tells him that they found him in a huge seashell that lies in the depth of the sea. It's actually the remains of the crashed airplane. The boy really wants to see it, so Snowball secretly takes him there. The boy finds a necklace with a picture of his real mother. He keeps the necklace in hope of finding his family soon. They also find weird glowing bubbles in the plane and mistake them as food. But when they eat them, it makes them really dizzy. They return home, but keep talking about their experience. Nana hears them and scolds them for going to the forbidden area. She is also upset on knowing that the boy still feels the need of his real mother. But the boy gets angry at Nana for not telling her the truth. He rushes back to the plane to find more clues and Snowball follows him too. The place is really dark and full of thorny branches. Nana arrives and asks the kids to let her do this task. She enters the plane but gets stuck really badly. Moreover, the thorny branches are moving around to block the exit. Nana tells her kids to run away and bring others to help. Snowball asks all the sea creatures to rescue her mother, but they are too afraid to go the forbidden depths. Suddenly the octopus reaches there. He has grown bigger and creepier in just a few years. Snowball also begs the octopus to help him, but the octopus has arrived for another mission. He wants to enslave all the sea creatures using his toxicating ink. It makes the fish lose their senses and obey the octopus. The evil creature tells them to throw the boy in the fish net hanging down from the surface. After a few hours, the boy opens his eyes in a small cabin near the seashore. He finds a man sleeping nearby. It's a fisherman named Captain Mervarid who has brought the boy here. He also left some food for him. After eating the food, the boy gets out of the cabin to escape to the sea. Unfortunately, he is not used to walking on two feet and keeps dragging himself on the ground. The boy reaches the seashore where he sees several dolphins lying out of the water. Snowball is there too. They were trying to escape the octopus. Snowball also tells the boy that Nana has died and the poor dolphin is all alone. Captain Mervarid helps the boy in, putting the dolphins back in the water. He also notices the necklace and offers the boy to help in finding his mother. Hearing this, the boy gets really excited and tells Snowball that once he finds his mother, she will become the mommy of both of them. Captain Mervarid is surprised at the boy's relationship with the dolphin and gets an idea. He takes the boy home and goes to meet a famous fisherman named Captain Nubar. He holds seashell collecting competitions and awards the winner with great prizes. Mervarid tells him about the dolphin boy and he wants to participate in the competition. 
Captain Newbar makes fun of him as a kid can never beat his expert divers, but Mervarid is confident of the dolphin boy. He introduces the boy to his family and asks his wife to take care of him. The innocent dolphin boy sees every woman as his mother and yearns for affection. Mervarid takes him to the sea every day to practice seashell collecting. The dolphin boy teams up with Snowball and collects as many seashells as possible. Mervarid is really happy with the progress and looks forward to the competition. He wants to use the prize money to buy a big ship as his old one was destroyed in an accident, but all the other people living on the island make fun of them and are pretty sure that Captain Newbar is unbeatable. Days pass away really quick, and the competition arrives. Captain Newbar introduces his three divers, and all of them seem to have exceptional skills. Mervarid advises the dolphin boy not to get nervous as he has something no other person can have. With the help of Snowball, he can easily win the competition. The music starts playing and all the participants jump in the water. Other divers try to collect as many seashells as possible, but the dolphin boy is more conscious of the quality. In less than an hour, Captain Newbar's ship gets full of seashells while the dolphin boy hasn't brought back anything. However, Mervarid believes that he will win for sure, and the boy is taking so long because he is collecting a lot of seashells. Captain Nubar also gets excited for the results and tells his man to stop playing the music. Afterward, he asks Mervarid to play the traditional drum to make the competition more exciting. After a while, the dolphin boy finally returns but only brings a small bag of seashells. Captain Nubar declares him a loser and goes away laughing. The audience at the seashore also mocks at Mervarid and return home. Mervarid starts crying in disappointment. He will never be able to buy a ship ever again. Seeing this, the dolphin boy asks Mervarid to check the seashells. They are full of valuable pearls. Mervarid starts celebrating and he dreams of the things he can do with all the money he will get by selling the pearls. His happiness is not for long as an unexpected enemy is arriving towards him. Mervarid hears a ship coming and he hides the pearls in his mouth. The ship belongs to a group of female pirates and they are looking for the pearls. They tie up Mervarid and ask him to give up, but Mervarid has accidentally swallowed all the pearls. The pirates get angry and one of them decides to cut Mervarid's stomach to get the pearls. Mervarid starts begging for mercy, so the pirates give him some weird fruits that will help him puke out the pearls. While he is eating them, the dolphin boy sneaks away to help the shark stuck on the ship. After traveling for a few hours, they reach a beautiful island. There are several drawings of dolphins and humans on the island, which makes the dolphin boy suspect this place. The pirates take them to their master, which is an old witch. She needed pearls to make a special empowering soup. Mervarid has met this old lady before. It was the time when a plane crashed into the sea and destroyed Mervarid's ship. He had found an injured woman and brought her to the old witch. That woman was no other than the dolphin boy's mother. Morvarid assumed that the woman must have died, so he tried to convince the dolphin boy to move on, but luckily she is still alive. However, she is not an ordinary lady. She lies in a pond of her own tears, which glow in a bright blue color. The boy also has special characteristics. That's why he survived in the water so easily. His mother was really heartbroken after losing him, and since then she hasn't opened her eyes but her heart is still beating. The witch believes that there's no cure, but the dolphin boy can't leave her mother like this. Suddenly, an old man reaches there, who had found the boy's necklace in the sea. He has recognized the woman and also knows the cure. The woman was carrying a special medicine on her flight but lost it in the crash. There's a possibility that the medicine is still there in the remains of the airplane. The dolphin boy wants to take this risk, but Mervarid and the ladies don't allow him as it's too dangerous. When everyone goes to sleep, the dolphin boy asks the old man to accompany him to the sea. Once they reach where the ruins are lying, the dolphin boy calls Snowball. Together they travel to the depths of the sea. A lobster stops them with his army of crabs, but the boy knows how to tackle this. He steals the shiny seashell from the lobster and throws it far away. All the crab rush after the seashell while the dolphin boy continues his journey. They meet the turtle and ask for his help. The turtle reveals that the whole sea is now under the octopus command. Right now he is busy having dinner so the dolphin boy must hurry. He rushes to the plane and finds a bottle of shiny liquid. 
It must be the medicine they are looking for. The boy takes it to the old man, but the old man doesn't let him get on the ship. The dolphin boy tries to snatch the medicine and accidentally pulls off the old man's fake beard. He is actually a diver who was looking for this potion for a long time. He was a close friend of the boy's parents and worked together on developing a potion that could turn fish bigger and more aggressive. The boy's father died in testing the dangerous potion, so his mother decided to take the potion far away from anyone's approach. But the diver wanted to use it for his evil means and caused the plane to crash. He feeds the potion to the octopus and makes him even bigger. The dolphin boy escapes with Snowball and reaches the island. Snowball is not feeling well because of inhaling the octopus ink. The old witch brings some of the boy's mother's tears and it cures Snowball. They must find a way to stop the octopus, otherwise the whole sea will be destroyed. The dolphin boy is ready to help and dives in the water to save his friends. All of the sea creatures are under the control of the octopus. The dolphin attracts them and takes them near the island. The witch releases all the healing tears collected so far and it treats a small part of the sea. All the creatures entering in the clear water get cured immediately. They agree to help the dolphin boy in putting some of the magical tears inside the octopus. Unfortunately, the plan fails and the diver feeds the octopus with more of the toxic potion. The whole sea has turned black and the octopus becomes a huge scary monster. He even eats his own master. Captain Nubar and other fishermen reach there to help, but the monster destroys all the ships. Seeing this, the dolphin decides to sacrifice himself to fulfill his mother's wish. His tears are magical too, so he jumps in the octopus's mouth while crying. Suddenly, the octopus disappears and it starts raining. But there's no sign of the dolphin boy. Snowball doesn't want to lose another loved one, so he dives in the water to look for the boy. He miraculously finds the boy's mother who helps Snowball in saving the boy. Mervarid gives first aid to the boy and brings him back to life. A few days have passed away since that incident. The sea is completely recovered and the octopus has turned too small to tease anyone. But the best part is that the dolphin boy has finally united with his mother.